Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiva Ravindra. Today I am going to explain you useful SAS techniques in efficacy analysis for oncology studies. This is class 3. So previous uh, two classes I have discussed, you know, uh, regarding basic overview about the endpoints of the oncology and how the data collection and how the adverse events are reporting in the oncology studies compared to safety analysis just to give an overview so today i am going to explain you uh, and you know giving overview about the tumor measurements and assessment under resist guidelines okay so tumor measurement and assessment under resist guidelines what is this resist resist nothing but response evaluation criteria in solid tumors so whenever we are dealing with some oncology solid tumor related clinical trial so there is a guidelines like you know cds so that is called resist so this resist guidelines we can apply and as per this guidelines we need to do analysis on that oncology tumor so this is a primary tool to use it to assess the tumor progression or shrinkage of solid tumor as per this one this is a standard system resist it, it will tell you how to measure the cancer responder to different treatment and responders are provided based on the change in the tumor size or imaging. So whenever we are testing our new drug on the clinical trial and the oncology of tumor, so we have to observe whether the tumor size or tumor responses are giving proper or not. Otherwise, you know, uh, so how can we now in in case of radiologist and identify the tumors and non-tumor based on the resist pre-specified criteria. okay so here you can see as per the resist the tumor lesions first categorized into so two type one is measurable and another one is non-measurable measurable nothing but so whenever we are going to able to measure the size of and you know uh, the structure of the tumor so those are measurable non-measurable so whenever the tumors are present on the heart or in the lung so we can't measure that one right so that type of uh, uh, some non-measurable tumors comes under this criteria so measurable also two type target and non-target so some measurable uh, you know so tumors which are greater than 10 mm size so those we can call it as target lesions so which are less than 10 mm size so those are non-target lesions so as per the criteria mentioned in the resist so whenever the maximum of five so maximum two per organ or short axis lymph node greater than 15 mm to determine the SLD sum of the length diameter so we can criteria this criteria is applicable to the target lesion so whenever we consider that is a non-target lesion so lesions size should be less than 10 mm size and like you know pleural fluid ascites lymphocytes so those type of uh, lesions we can consider as non-target lesions okay so target lesions are and non-targets are both are measurable so but target lesions are size should be greater than 10 mm and you know non-target is less than 10 mm non-measurable so those are non-target uh, lesions only so those we are not measuring the size we just you know telling that whether those are present or absent or you know like that we can give the response of those measurable versus non-measurable during the treatment our subsequent measurements are performed for all target non-target new lesions in each specified time point so every time after giving the treatment or before giving the treatment that is screening from onwards every time point we are measuring the tumor size so we can know then only we will know whether how the tumor was responding due to our treatment okay the changes in the tumor size or tumor responses will evaluate uh, whether our drug is significantly giving the results or not okay so as per this one so target lesions those are size greater than 10 mm size and which are measurable target lesions upon treating our drug so they will give some responses after some specified time so the first response is complete response so after giving your treatment all the tumors are completely disappeared so those 
response we can call it as complete response and so in case 30 percent of decrease in the sum of diameter of the target lesion taking as a reference as the baseline is called partial response for example at the time of baseline means before taking this treatment so six cells are present that is 100 percent cancer cells are present so after treating the drug now so often three months or four months whenever we have a specific time point so that time so if you see only 4.5 cells are below so 30 percent of decrease you can see after treating our drug so our drug is treating partially so those type of response we can call it as partial response of the drug and progressive this is nothing but at least 20 percent of increase in the sum of diameter of the target lesion taking as a reference of the smallest sum of the study so for example six cells are present before taking our drug only 7.2 cells are present 20 percent increase okay so that means six cells are there but now after giving treatment also it was increasing like 7.2 and above so those type of nothing but progressive nothing but increase the disease response so stable disease stable nothing but it should be stable either it not changing anything or like it should not comes under any pr or pd okay so 4.5 to 7.2 cells if you are seeing after treating your drug so that response we can call it a stable disease stable nothing but it is uh, not giving any response okay so in case of non-target lesions non-target lesions which are less than 10 mm of size and you know either it was not measurable so those are also non-target so in that cells also after treating your drug so it will show some responses first response is complete response disappearance of all non-target lesions and normalize the tumor a marker level so either you know in the lymphs are you know in the heart in the liver so some places we can't measure right so that type of response containing lesions give response called complete response and non cr non pd okay so it is like this so persistence one or more non target lesions and maintaining the tumor marker level above the normal limits okay limit is normal if it is above normal so that we can call it as non cr non pr 10 cells are there above 10 cells if you are able to see in the uh, non target lesion cases that response we can call it as non cr or non pd so in case of progressive disease increasing okay unequal progress in existing non target lesions okay so if it is you know increasing the pro disease of progression okay so here you can see best overall response nothing but these are the responses so we are you know measuring the all the responses time point so which time point it will give you the best response what is the best response here one two three four five like this we can categorize all these responses which response giving the best that responses we can call it as best overall response is the subject level best response is required from the start treatment to until the disease progression we can take it as a so we just you know take this variable and sort the variable and we can take the best response by first that that response okay